Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some short and spicy romance recommendations for you. So all of these books I'm going to be recommending to you today are under 200 pages and they are all standalones. They're not like part of duets or series and blah, 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 because I have read some before that are like each book in a series is like 200 pages, but these are standalones. I have, how many do I have for you guys today? I think six. I think I have six if I count it correctly. So I'm really excited to get into them. They're brand new ones that I've read over the last couple months. And without further ado, let's get into the spiciness. So first things first, I have to start off with the four leaf. And this is set on St. Patrick's Day. Obviously you can read it whenever because like it doesn't matter. But this is a friends to lovers romance and it has got a very special kink in it that I've never actually read before until I got to this book. And that is the primal kink. Never read the primal kink until I, <laughs> I keep saying that word, until I read this book. And I was like, oh my God. So to explain what that is, if you are not aware, I want you to imagine hide and seek and tag, but sexy, sexy hide and seek, sexy tag or it sexy running through the woods chasing her and then finding her and, uh, in the woods getting down and dirty you know that's the situation we got with this book but like i said it is friends lovers it's about this girl who's been best friends with this guy since she was kids and when she was like 11 years old she like tried to like confess her love to him and he ended up like pushing her into the mud and like mm, nothing ever happened flash forward many many years later i think she's like in her like late 20s he's like a famous footballer and one night it just the tensions rise and they've decided to kind of just explore it finally and that is what this is about and it is so hot so sexy there is like a shower scene too in this a little bit of voyeurism oh there's so much stuff in this it's so good i literally love this author write some of the best best smut ever so highly recommend this we then have one that is very well known, but I actually haven't done a rec video for it yet. And that's going to be The Dare by Harley LaRue. Technically, this is banned on Amazon to get the Kindle version, but you still can buy the ebook on like Apple and blah, 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 blah places. So this takes place during Halloween. You can read it outside of Halloween if you do want. Um, but this one has like all like a whole beautiful page of like content and kink warnings. It is very unique. It was the first time I had read the uh, spinning in a book and it was the first time I had read clowns as a content warning. Um, there's a clown orgy in this. I do just want to put that forward. If clowns weird you out, please be aware of that. Um, you know, I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns. Clowns terrify me, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mind. I didn't mind the clown orgy. It wasn't like the worst thing I'd ever read. D did that make the book not a perfect five stars? M maybe, maybe, you know, sometimes you just can't get around clowns. So it's about this girl, she comes back to her hometown for Halloween party. She gets there, everyone's there, all the people that she went to high school with, you know, they're all like reuniting. And she ends up seeing this guy that her ex-boyfriend used to bully during school. And even she kind of had a hand in that. So she was kind of like his tormentor, but you know, he's hot, he's sexy, he's like a bad boy now. And they end up playing um, beer pong, but they end up playing a version of it where like, it's like almost like a dare each time like you do something, you then like have to do a dare. And what ends up happening is she ends up losing and ends up having to be like his, uh, like submissive for the night. And so she ends up like having to follow him around and do all this stuff for him. And like, obviously that gets very sexual with like, the things that he has her do. There's like a lot of bullying in this. Like he's uh, bullying her and like, he gets her to do all these different things. There's like a lot of um, like humiliation kink is a huge part of this as well. So definitely check out the content warnings for this, but I will say, uh, you know, you can read this and it might awaken some things in you. you know, it awakens some things in me. I was like, oh, kind of do like things that are a little bit darker, a little bit more, oh, what is going on here? A little bit more like the weirder kinks going on. Still not a fan of spitting. It's never going to be something that I vibe with, but this was a bit different because she was, she, she, she thinks she also licked his boots, which was a bit strange. I really wouldn't want to lick someone else's boots. That's germs, but you know, I could still read it. Didn't have any problems with that, but this was really hot. We then have the wonderful, the beautiful, the amazing Rilsey Adams. God, I love Rilsey when it comes to short novellas, hands down. So this is Just For Tonight by Rilsey, and this follows these two, this guy and this girl, and they are away on a wedding. So she is the best friend of the bride and he is the best dude friend. 
<laughs> the best dude friend, the best friend of the groom. So they ended up getting there a bit earlier for the wedding, the bride, the groom, and these two friends are all like spending time in the villa before the wedding ceremony. And there's been like tensions building up between these two friends. And this is them being like, hey, just for tonight, romance is in the air. Everyone's getting with everyone. Doesn't it kind of make sense for like the maid of honor and like the best man to like maybe get to go? And so was them having some hot times. And there is like a hot tub scene. Love hot tub scene. So that's this. Obviously, as you can tell, I really can't go too into details for these because like I said, they are under 200 pages. Some of these are even under 100 pages. And so going too into detail kind of like ruins it for you. But this is a good one. We then have One Night Only by BL Mute. This is a very unique one. This is about a girl. She is a uh, plus size, she's fat. She works at a sex store selling, you know, sex toys and all those kind of good, good stuff. And one day this silver fox older man comes in and he then comes in for a couple of days in a row and he's been like hitting on her. And you know, he's very wealthy and it gets to the point where he actually comes in and he comes in with a contract and said, I would like to sign this contract with you to be with you for one night, one night only, you get it? And we get to do all the hot kinky stuff um, outlined in this is all the stuff that I like to do. You just gotta let me know what, what how you're doing, how you're feeling and all this kind of stuff. And it's them having their one night. Obviously they, they, there's gonna be more in this series where they keep spending more nights together, but it's about him kind of teaching her some of these things that she's always been interested in and like using the toys that are in the store and all this other kind of stuff. So very hot and steamy. Um, a lot of talk about body positivity, um, body, you know, how you feel in your body as well is like a huge part of this. So a little bit of triggers there for that, but um, yeah. Really fun one. We then have obviously an Omegaverse. Um, there is another one coming out in this series soon. They're all standalone Omegaverses, but this first one is called Heat Haven. Oh my God, this was so much fun. Um, definitely not like a great beginner Omegaverse because it doesn't like spend a lot of time and details into like what Omegaverse is. But if you kind of like have a general idea of what Omegaverse is, you're Jay chilling to go into this. But it's about this place where there's a place called Heat Haven. And Heat Haven is where Omegas can sign up and go if they're not part of a pack to, you know, experience their heats with other alphas. And it's also a place that alphas can sign up and be a part of with like a membership so that they can be with Omegas during their heats um, and, you know, kind of like get it out of their system because not everyone is part of a pack and it's like a safe environment kind of situation so the Omegas don't get like attacked. And when it starts, it's about this guy. It's his first, you know, day at the Heat Haven signing up for stuff and it got the girl there as well and it's her first time there. She's going to pick her nest and they end up getting trapped in an elevator together and you know, they're trapped in the elevator, some things happen. And obviously she's then like, hey, do you need part of my like heat that's coming up soon? He's like, yeah, I'll be part of your heat that's coming up soon. And then she has her heat and there's like another guy and it's like very good, it's very steamy. So, you know, if you like, if you like some short Omega verses, check this one out. And then obviously I have to mention Scream For Us by Molly Doyle. I, this awakened something in me and that is the fact that like, you know, I never really thought that a guy in a Scream mask having sexual intercourse with me would be attractive, but it turns out it would be. Turns out that really would be hot and attractive. So this this is about a girl. Um, a huge triggers in this, by the way, for like suicide, depression, self-harm, a lot of depressing shit. Do check out the trigger warnings for this one because it does get a lot. And the second book in this, the second, the follow-up to this uh, little novella is also got a lot of triggers in it too. So please be careful there. But this takes place also on Halloween. But this girl, she goes to Halloween party, this guy tries to like hit on her. She's feeling very uncomfortable. And then these three guys end up intercepting and like kind of claiming her for the night. And they all are dressed up in like uh, Halloween horror, like classic Halloween horror movie, like uh, her costumes, forgetting the word over here. So it is reverse harem. It's also kind of gets a bit polyish in the second one, but they're all standalones. But this one, um, you got Jason, Freddy and Ghost. And Ghost is the guy in the screen mask, but you know, you know the other like they're all dressed as like the classic things so that's what this one is super hot super steamy but please check out the triggers because there are a lot out of all the ones i mentioned this one has like the most in it so just a fair warning to everyone there but yeah those are six super short super steamy super hot novellas um really short to read they're all on ku as well for you to peruse and these authors do have multiple ones that you can check out which is really fun but I'm going to be doing a bunch of these as I just keep reading more and more of them because I think it's just really fun. So this is just a really quick one for you guys for now. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like down below. If you want to keep seeing more from me, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch, everyone. Bye-bye.